I'm CJ Demento. Welcome to Oceanside Spectrum on KOCT. First, we have some amazing ladies from the Women's Club of Oceanside. We have President Valerie Pemberton and Rose Tedding, Parliamentarian, and they're here to share about their annual craft fair. Sue McLeod with Got Your Back San Diego is going to share about the program that provides food for kids over the weekend. And Main Street Oceanside Market Administrator Jacqueline Paleo will update us on our favorite markets and annual tree lighting event. And City of Oceanside's Assistant City Manager Michael Gossman is with us to share information about Measure X, a measure on your ballot that brings important benefits to Oceanside. So stay tuned because Oceanside Spectrum starts now. All right, the wonderful Women's Club of Oceanside is here. Valerie, the president, and Rose, the chairperson of the Holiday Craft Fair and Parliamentarian are here. Welcome. Yes, thank, you. thank you. We're happy to be here. Yeah. It's so exciting to have the Women's Club of Oceanside here. You're yes. an amazing group, 106 yes. years young. Yes. Wonderful. So yes. tell us about the Women's Club, if you would, Valerie. Uh, well, as you said, we've been around for 106 years in yeah. our building on 1606 Missouri Avenue. We've been there for... Uh, since 1956, I think. Yeah, wow. yes, uh, close Great. to over 50 years anyway. Oh, and, yeah. and our main focus is be basically is outreach to uh, help our community, okay. and um, we support the um, the local high schools. We oh. we um, we work with the military. Uh, we have um, one of the things that we do, which is coming up in November, yeah. is uh, Fisher House that we do a lot of donations mm -hmm. for that. We do that at least once a year. Oh. And we, um, we're we going to be, this year we're gonna be working with the veterans for Christmas. Oh, wow. So we've been working with, uh, for the last few years, we've been doing with the seniors and stuff and t taking on some kind of um, assisted living facility and, and helping mm. seniors, certain seniors, they tell us which ones are in the need yeah. and stuff and, and doing a uh, Christmas presents for them and stuff. Wow. And uh, we do a lot of, um, we work with um, yeah. birth choice, pathways. Oh, wow. okay. um, one of our weekly focuses is on Operation Hope mm -hmm. and stuff. We have one of our, um, our members literally delivers food every Friday mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, so we have you know, a lot of organizations yeah. that yeah. we deal and with. We just delivered great, great. purses to Operation Hope today. Oh, yeah. That's wow. right. So we take purses and we fill them up with, um, you know, necessities and scarves and just really nice things. And mm. we just delivered that, so. Great job. Yeah. So you also have a craft fair that's yes. coming up. This yes. is a big deal. This is this really is a well known deal. craft fair. Yes. Tell us about yes. it. This craft fair is a holiday craft fair. Okay. It is on Saturday, November 9th. Okay. And um, it's from two to nine. And it's a bunch of local vendors who are selling their items, and their items range from, you know, knit items, jewelry. Um, we have a, an author who is going to be selling her books. We have um, all kinds of stuff. I can't even think. It's just going to be a plethora yes. of just Snow goods. Snow lady. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. she's coming. Yes. Yeah. And, and we, we have, have an engraver. And yes. And our club is going to be offering baked goods. Okay. And then we're also going to be offering um, Filipino egg rolls, lumpia, mm -hmm. which has been very popular Absolutely. for our <laughs> craft fairs. Absolutely. And um, we are also doing a raffle. And we're going to be raffling two baskets, a coffee theme basket with mm -hmm. a bunch of goodies, and then also the spa basket with a lot of personal mm -hmm. care for the spa enthusiast. And um, what else? And oh. vendors are also, oh, just say. yeah, vendors will be also, you know, contributing Donating. their items yeah. mm -hmm. for the, you know, for the fundraiser. So it's just really wonderful that, you know, we have like, we have, we raise money through renting tables, yeah. offering um, food, and then also the raffle. So all of that goes to the scholarship program. Yeah, mm -hmm. tell us about the scholarship program. So you do yes. this great event, you yes. raise money, and mm -hmm. then you do scholarships. Well, yes. we do um, multiple things as far as to doing with between the scholarships and mm -hmm. then also we have a pancake breakfast that we're having in yes. January. La the yes. last two years we've had it in February, but this yes. year we're gonna have it in January. Mm -hmm. And it's for the Oceanside High School Choir. Mm -hmm. 
And um, two years ago, when we first started doing this yes. and stuff, is that the kids, for the first time ever, and I'm a Oceanside graduate, that the kids went to the East Coast and were in a competition. And it's their first time competing, and we won. Yes. We won the sweepstakes. <laughs> it was very exciting. It, it was really exciting. And yes. so then this last year, they didn't go to the East Coast. They stayed here mm -hmm. on the West Coast, and they competed up in Anaheim mm -hmm. and did really well up there. And so now they're going to go back to the East Coast again for yes. the same competition mm -hmm. and everything. So we'll yeah. be doing a fundraiser in, for mm -hmm. the pancake breakfast yes. for that. But as far as um, every year, as far as that we donate at least $1,000 for, um, usually it's two for each high school and stuff, yes. or, or mm -hmm. one or two anyway, it yes. depends upon how many high schools that we wind up doing. Mm -hmm. We always do El Camino and Oceanside High and depending and upon whether or not. Surfside, we did yeah. Surfside, yeah, surfside last year. Yeah, last year. Yes. So Great. anyway, yeah. um, last year was even more for the fact because we had so many applicants and we had, um, two particular students that we really couldn't divide, decide between mm -hmm. the two of them. So we yeah. said, okay, instead of doing a thousand, we gave 500 and 500 and stuff because yeah. we couldn't decide you, between the two of them. They you both guys are the same. busy. We're really busy. You and are then, busy. Also in May, we have the, um, the oh, tea. tea. And the tea is going to be really cool because we have a fashion show mm -hmm. at our tea. So that's, that's going to be fun. And then we also have our um, Christmas in Christmas in July. Uh -huh. In yes. July. We'll that's like another craft, craft fair. Yeah. Right. And that's really fun too because everybody's yes. looking for that stuff during that time. Lots to look forward to. Yes. If people want to find out more about the Women's Club of Oceanside, yes. how could they do that? Um, we have a website. Okay. Um, it's Women's Club, Women's Club with an A, Women's okay. Club of Oceanside.org. Yeah. Great. And then we're also, um, we also have a, an Instagram um, page. Okay. So you can find us there too. Great. And then we're also, um, we have meetings. Um, Regular every Thursdays, meetings. Yes. yes. Okay. First Thursday of the month. Uh, and um, we have coffee hour at 9.30 and then we mm -hmm. have the meeting from at 10 o'clock. And usually we have either lunch or brunch um, after the meeting and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this, this month in uh, November, we're going to be uh, we're just trying this out there we're yes. going to a restaurant okay. we're going to the broiler All right. and stuff and um for our meeting and stuff but as generally we wind up having it at the clubhouse and stuff on lots of fun yes good group yes. people should check you out come to your events yes right thank you for being here thank, thank you. you for having us appreciate it mm -hmm. we'll be right back with our next guest The Oceanside Fire Department is looking for ways to give back to the military, so if you're looking for an exciting career, come join the Oceanside Fire Department through SkillBridge. My name is Jack Monroe. I was in the United States Marine Corps. My name is Anthony Vallejos. I was in the United States Marine Corps. If you're wanting to be a part of a paramilitary culture, the fire department is where you want to go. It was a great transition for me. When I was transitioning out of the Marine Corps, I got lucky getting hired here because they care. It's a full circle of care too, not just the physicality, but the mental health and then the family wellness as well. The firemen are hard chargers, just like Marines. They understand that there's a mission that needs to be accomplished. And then when it's time to sit down at the dinner table, that's where camaraderie and friendship and togetherness all come together. At Oceanside Fire Department, when you're in the classroom, you're learning from the best. The guys have been through everything you're going through and they know the ropes and they're not afraid to help you get better and show you how to do it. We work on simulations, we get to work hands-on with tools and gurneys and all these things in order to be the best at what you're doing. At Oceanside, if you put in the work, you're not just a number here. Once you get your foot in the door, if you work hard, they will give you every opportunity to succeed. This is the best job I've ever had. To be considered in your application, you need to have a National Registry EMT certification. Applications can be found on the city's website or through your SkillBridge application process. Apply today. All right, welcome back. We've got Sue McLeod with Got Your Back San Diego. It's an organization that provides backpacks with food for kids in our community. Welcome. Thank you yeah. for having me here. Thank you for being here and talking about your organization that's doing such great work for our youngest residents. 
Tell us about Got Your Back. They are our youngest residents. Absolutely. They are the hope of our future. Mm -hmm. um, Got Your Back San Diego was founded by my husband and I 15 years ago, so we are in our 15th year wow. of uh, serving this community, Oceanside, Carlsbad, and Vista Elementary Schools. Right. At the time, uh, we found out there was 26,000 children who were deemed uh, food insecure, right. which means that they don't know where their next meal is coming from after they leave school on Friday. Right. Their um, weekly food, nutrition, is really usually at school. Yeah. And then when they leave school on Friday, they don't know where yeah. it's gonna come from. Yeah. So what we do is we pack bags of food for them on Tuesday night in our warehouse in Oceanside, and about 20 items of food. And it's delivered to the schools every Thursday. And on Friday, they take their food with them, and that's their security. Okay. It's traumatic when a child doesn't, every week they have that feeling of yeah. uh, they don't know what's going to happen yeah. over the weekend. Yeah, and you were saying um, it's connected also with homelessness and that you've seen a, a kind of a change with that pattern as well. Yeah, uh, since COVID, um, homelessness, yeah. that childhood hunger goes along with that has increased 400% in the last two years. Mm -hmm. And we found out by listening to a panel of older teenagers, um, they were talking about how they ended up on the streets of San Diego, and they all said the same thing. They gave their story about being a child, and they talked about alcohol, drug abuse in the house, neglect, mm -hmm. abandonment, all those things. But the number one issue was hunger. They had to go out to the streets to find food. And that sounds almost impossible to believe, yeah. but it's true. And I've talked to many adults who have told me the same story. Right. Yeah. And, if, and if kids aren't eating, they're not performing in school, and it just kind of can continues right. from there. Yep. Yeah. Um, we hear stories, really good stories, from teachers that um, after they are on our program mm -hmm. for a couple weeks, their homework is done. They have an attitude change. They're not tired. They're not falling asleep. Mm -hmm. um, for my husband, it, this has always been about the food. Get the food to them. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I see the long-term effects of mm -hmm. hunger mm -hmm. and malnutrition. Mm -hmm. Food is, uh, is nurturing. When somebody comes to your house, you offer them something to drink, something to eat. Yeah. And when a child goes, leaves school and goes home, and there isn't that nurturing, mm -hmm. um, there's something missing in their life. Mm -hmm. So the long-term effects of that are vast. Yeah. They're vast, and it's traumatic for them also. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so how does it, how does it work? How, you know, what kind of support do you need to be able to provide that support for kids? Well, I'm pretty, I'm up there on Facebook a lot. People, I've grown childhood food and security on Facebook, pretty much, and word of mouth. Okay. The community is amazing. Bill and I couldn't do this on our own right. without the support of this community. Right. And so we have a website, we have Facebook, we have, um, we're right in Oceanside. People can support us by going on our Amazon wish list. Okay. Um, it has a list of the foods we, you know, we pack. Right now, I'm doing a blanket drive, so every one of our Got Your Back kids receive a nice, brand new, cozy blanket uh, at their Thanksgiving. We have events coming up. It's, it's November, it's December. People automatically think charity at this time of year, so we've got Senior Grubbies, three events in December, all three of their restaurants. For 15 years, have been doing the end of year um, Got Your Back event for us. We have a gala coming up in November. There's a lot of things. If you'd like to know, go on our website, <laughs> gotyourbacksandiego.org, or just call me directly, and I'll put you in line with all of our events, and you can attend. Yeah. And that supports us by, um, we need food and money all the time. Yeah. A lot of food goes out of our warehouse for 400 kids every week. It's a lot 
It is a big lot. shopping list, right? Yeah, huge shopping list. <laughs> and volunteers, if people want to volunteer to support. Yes, the we have well. um, we have um, volunteer, not too many because we're kind of a grassroots. You know, we are a grassroots. Um, not a lot of opportunities, but a lot of opportunity to do food drives. Families love to do food drives. Different churches around here do food drives, yeah. organizations. Over the holidays, everybody wants to do something. Right. And, you know, no one can do everything, but everyone can do something. So visit your website to find out what types of foods um, people should be um, yes. doing a food drive to, to accumulate. And reach out and yes. support uh, your organization. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nice to be here. We'll be right back here on KOCT. KOCT, the voice of North County. All right, Main Street Oceanside's Jacqueline Paleo is here, and she is the Oceanside Market Administrator for our favorite weekly market. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm so happy that you're here. Me too. <laughs> the markets are our favorite here in Oceanside. There's something for everyone um, mm -hmm. during the day and at night, and you're expanding. Yes, yes, we actually expanded on uh, September 5th of this year. Yeah. It was really, really great. We had a ribbon cutting happening. Um, Supervisor Jim Desmond came out, Eric Joyce came out, we had the chamber, and then we had Flailing Idiot come out and do, they're a local North County band, and they came out and they did a performance for us. Yeah, so the expansion, what, is, what does that look like? So uh, the expansion is going to go across Coast Highway. Everyone in Oceanside, all the locals know that Sunset Market and even Taurus as well. It has a four block radius, um, Pierview and Tremont, but we are actually crossing Coast Highway and we're going up to Fremont Street. Um, and so that's going to contain, or it does contain, 38 new spaces, and that has anything from 10 by 10s, new spaces, and then we have all electric trucks coffee trucks, and then different kinds of uh, pizza trucks and different kind of items like that. Wow, so that's a big expansion. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and, and their vendors can apply to be a part of the yes. Sunset Market? Yes, so we are always accepting applications. Okay. Um, all the applications can be found online at Oceanside uh, Sunset Market Vendor okay. uh, dot com. All right, that's a big deal. Yeah. Providing more opportunities for vendors mm -hmm. in Oceanside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you're new to uh, Main Street Oceanside, or yes. fairly new, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so kind of getting kicked off in this role of market administrator, what's, yeah. what's your favorite thing about it? I think my favorite thing is meeting different people every single Thursday. I've been at Main Street Oceanside for about 10 months now, mm -hmm. and it's never a dull Thursday. <laughs> I mean, we're there as early as 7 a.m. all the way to 12 in the morning, and we meet all types of different people, people from other countries, people from even San Diego who had no idea that Oceanside is growing in such a capacity that it is. Mm -hmm. And then we also have different kinds of vendors who come from out of county. It's really great to have to give the vendors the opportunity to have that platform. Yeah, and a huge array of vendors, right? Correct. Tell us a little bit about that. If someone hasn't been to the market in a little while, what will they find? They ha we have quite a few different options. So if you're hungry for anything savory, we have Turkish food, we have Kenyan food, we have Mexican food, American food. Um, and then we also have retail. So we have 200 vendor spaces in the market already. And then with the expansion, we have 238. And then we also activated Artist Alley, and that's about 10 to 15. So we have close to 250 vendors wow. operating and rotating each week. So it's never boring. <laughs> You'll always have something different every single week, and that's kind of what we strive for. And what's happening in Artist Alley? Artist Alley is going to be the activation of local artists and vendors. Mm -hmm. So any vendor who is pretty much starting out in the market atmosphere mm -hmm. is going to come out and kind of trial and error it out. Um, it's more geared towards people who have artisan kind of items. So anything handcrafted, anything like that. We want to in the future probably host some workshops like pottery classes mm -hmm. or um, even like movie nights, something that can get the community together and 
you know, everyone can come around and walk around with like a little pot. <laughs> Um, but different kinds of items that are that are still brainstorming right now. Very fun. Uh, so you also have some updates maybe on the tree lighting and some holiday market updates? Yeah, yes. so every single Thursday in December is holiday market. And so every single vendor is allowed to bring in anything that they think would be an intricate and unique gift item. Mm. So on December 5th is when we're gonna be having the tree lighting. The city's gonna come out. We work with the city to um, light up the tree in front of the Regal Plaza. And then we have different kinds of amusement um, such as zip lining and that kind of fluctuates every single year. So we're, we're still kind of anticipating what kind of activities we'll have this year. Okay. Um, so it's definitely gonna be a surprise. Um, and then we'll have some food vendors out on mission. So we're gonna close out mission and then we'll have a few different food vendors there as well. Great, that's such a wonderful event. I think mm -hmm. people will be very happy to hear yeah. that it's back on this year. Yeah. All right, so if people wanna find out more about the Sunset Market, uh, Main Street in general, because there's so much that you're doing within the community, yes. um, how would they do that? They can go to MainStreetOceanside.com. Um, we're accepting volunteers, we're accepting vendors, um, and then we're also even accepting new crew members. So if anyone wants to join our team, you can go online and fill out an application with us. Great, with an expansion, you need more folks, don't exactly. you? Exactly, exactly. Good. <laughs> Good, well, great updates. Thank you for being here, Jacqueline. Thank you for having me. And stay right there, we will be back with our last guest. today about the Recycle Smart website, greenoceanside.org. It's the place to go to learn how to recycle right in Oceanside. Food scraps. Where does it go? Food scraps and food soil paper can be recycled in your organics bin and turned into compost or renewable energy in Oceanside. The city's Green Oceanside campaign is committed to sustainability in partnership with waste management. All right, welcome back. I'm delighted to share that Assistant City Manager for the City of Oceanside, Michael Gossman, is here to share information about an important ballot item, Measure X. Welcome. Thank you, appreciate yeah, that. I'm happy to be here with you, I'm Michael. happy to be here. Yeah. Good to see you yeah. outside of the work. Milieu. I know, so yeah, yeah, we work together. We do. Um, you're a city employee. I am a city employee, yeah, yes. Yeah, and you oversee a pretty large amount of, of city Yeah. Departments? Tell folks well, about the, that. Well, the city of Oceanside, I think one of the things that we're sort of proud of is that we run a pretty lean shop. And so I wear a lot of hats, yeah. keeps things really interesting. Yeah. I oversee everything from the water utilities department to yeah. the finance department to libraries, as well as economic development. Yeah. But more than that, I just do work on a lot of projects. You know, we're, we're a group of scrappy, can-do kind of people who That's figure out how to get things done. So homelessness, yeah. Measure X. These are the things that I, I work on on a day-to-day -day basis, and I get to work with some really amazing people, yep. and love it. I love it, but I am, I'm not a politician. I work for the city manager who's appointed by the city council, and I like it that way. I have no interest in ever going down that path. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you are working closely with Measure X. Yes. It's a ballot item. Um, you know, tell, tell folks a little bit about it. Well, I think it's important to talk a little bit about the history. So the original Measure X, the one that we have today, is a half-cent sales tax. It was voted in by the voters of Oceanside in November of 2018. Mm -hmm. It went into effect in April of 2019, and it would term out in April of 2026. Okay. The voters said that they wanted a, a sales tax that would pay for things such as public safety, mm -hmm. issues of related to homelessness, but also a lot of infrastructure. You know, the city has had gone through ups and downs in the past. We had a lot of needs and we wanted to we wanted to invest in those needs. Yeah, and that's what has happened, and right? That the is city what's has happened, been yeah. it has enabled the city to really invest in a lot of those different areas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean I think it's important that I say up front that I'm not here to advocate for people to vote one way or another, but I think it's important that people understand mm -hmm. what Measure X pays for, what it would continue to pay for, if, should it be extended. Mm -hmm. You know, we've built a new fire station one, the, the existing fire station, um, or the one that pre-existed our new fire station one, yeah. went back almost 100 years and was in sore need of updating and modernization. Our first responders deserve that. Yeah. Now we have a state-of-the-art fire station one in downtown. Mm -hmm. We have a state-of-the-art fire training tower. Yeah. We have uh, implemented a second homeless outreach team 
Uh, that's paid for by Measure X. That includes two police officers and a social worker and hundreds, literally over 500 miles of lane miles of roads have been mm. paved, repaired, made like new. Yeah. Um, and that's just a few of the things that uh, Measure X has done mm -hmm. since it started in April of 2019. So if people vote yes on Measure X, yeah. they would be continuing the work. They would be continuing that work. They would continue the EMT program that Measure X pays yeah. for. We're also looking to expand the scope of, what, of what's going into Measure X. Mm -hmm. If you read the ballot language carefully, mm -hmm. it would include money for sand replenishment, which oh, anybody wow. in Oceanside knows we're in sore need of that. But Absolutely. yes, it would continue our pavement program. It would continue our traffic calming program, our second mm -hmm. hot, our EMT program our uh, community service officer program within the, the police department. It does a lot. It's genuinely made a big difference in uh, the city of Oceanside. You know, one of the things that we're really proud of uh, related to it is the amount of transparency that, that goes yeah. along with okay. this particular measure. You okay. know, when the city council put the ordinance on the books, they said it's going to include a citizen's oversight committee. That's a panel of separate people. Unlike an advisory committee, they actually have the ability to say, no, that is not an appropriate okay. use of Measure X. Okay. So they review every spending plan that we have, and yeah. we've had seven, we've had a seven-year spending plan for the existing mm -hmm. sales tax, and we would have a 10-year spending plan for the proposed 10-year extension okay. to that. Um, and they review that, yeah. and they, they check off yes or no, and then it goes to city council. Okay, so a lot of transparency yeah. with it as well. And, and for folks that are voting, it really would be status quo as far as the sales tax. They wouldn't see yes. an increase. It would just be a continuation of what's been in place. Exactly. As I mentioned, okay. it's a half cent sales tax. Okay. It, would, it would expire April 2026. Okay. This ballot initiative takes that existing sales tax and just extends it for another 10 years. So some essential purchases, diapers, medicine, uh, medicine. food, that's all exempt. You don't pay tax okay. on that anywhere. So, okay. so that's a state of California exemption. So those would not be part of no. uh, Measure X? No. Oh, okay. And I think it's really, you know, it's important for people to understand because oftentimes when we pay our sales tax, yeah. we see that line item on our receipt and it goes away. Yeah. We have no idea how that's being divided up. Prior to Measure X, mm -hmm. the city received about 1% of that. The rest went to the state, the county, wow. schools. Huh. And so this half percent goes directly right back into the city and it okay. gives us a lot more latitude and leeway on how we're gonna spend that. So, so all of the funds stay local? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. They all stay local. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we had an economist take a look at um, the spending patterns within the city and how sales tax is generated, 63% of our sales tax actually comes from um, out-of-town residents and businesses. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So businesses and visitors mm -hmm. are, are the primary yeah. um, measure. And, and I think that's mm -hmm. fair. They benefit from it, and yeah. we all benefit from it. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a great ec little economy there. Yes, absolutely. So if people want to find out more about Measure X or any item on the ballot, because it's an important yeah. thing, um, how could they do that? I would encourage them to take a, just Google Oceanside City Clerk. Take a look okay. at the City Clerk's website. They've got a list of all of it. They've got yeah. the list of people that have supported Measure X as well as people who have opposed. Mm -hmm. Measure X is supported by the Measure X Citizens Oversight Committee. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. as well as the San Diego Taxpayers Taxpayer Association. Association. Um, they, yeah. take, they took a really close look at um, how we developed our spending plans, um, how we were managing the funds, yeah. and, the, and importantly, and this is a big deal for the Taxpayers Association, the efficacy of mm -hmm. the funds that we have. Are they going to where we said they're gonna do and are they making a difference? And, and their they, determination was that it was. Yeah. And, and, I would, and I would also assert that it is making a difference and you can see it as you drive around. Well, thank you, Michael, for all you do for well, the city. Thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate yeah. you, too. All right. And thank you for watching this edition of Oceanside Spectrum. Make sure you attend the fun events happening in your community, support each other, and make sure to vote. If you would like to be a guest on the show, please visit koct.org spectrum to find out details on how your nonprofit can be a part of Spectrum. Stay up to date with all things North County by visiting koct.org. Thanks and take good care.
You're watching 40 years of KLCT television, the Oceanside Channel.